today I'm going to record the um, installation of, um, of uh, Alpine ILX259 Halo 9 to a um, um, Sprinter 2019 uh, passenger van and um, let's first look at the original equipment the factory radio and uh, I want to record this that chime that you heard when you open the door um, I'm not sure whether or not that will retain after the um, uh, aftermarket radio is installed. And um, let's look at the uh, original equipment right here. So this is the uh, standard radio option that comes with the van. And um, this place, all you need to do is take one of these tubes and pry it open, which I already did. So I'm just going to take a look at that piece. And um, four screws, which I already take off. One, two, same on the other side. And um, right there, and right there. And um, if you remove that, you can take the whole radio out. And uh, let's check out the, um, the wires behind it. So, if you look at the wire harness, that's the antenna. And um, this two, the brown, white and clear, brown, white and clear. This is the SOS uh, system that using the um, uh, sharing the microphone, and um, which, if you look it up on the internet, you're supposed to just connect them color to color, and uh, you will retain the um, the factory microphone function for the SOS system, which is right there, and I believe it has its own speaker up there too. So that's the part that you need to uh, reconnect. And the wet wire, it's a constant 12 volt. And the brown wire back there, I measure it and um, with a multimeter. And um, that's the uh, the ground wire. And I believe the yellow is the nation power. And then I have no idea what the uh, purple and purple wire is. And then um, the rest of that, if I turn it this way. And um, the rest of this brown um, harness over here is the uh, four channel speaker wires. And um, so there's four channels total. So when I talked to um, one of the uh, local installer, and uh, he implied that if you put on the um, Halo 9, it will lose the um, center uh, speaker, which I'm not really sure why would that be because there's four channels coming out over here and if you put on the Halo 9 you, you, have, you also have a four channels coming out and um, I'm not sure why you would lose the center channel so um, that's remain to be seen when I hook up the Halo 9 and uh, we'll find out whether or not um, that's the case and um, my local installer said that uh, if I would want to uh, retain the uh, center channel uh, function I would have to uh, put in a um, additional amplifier to power that channels which will cost me another uh, six hundred dollars including parts and labor so i'm really not sure about that and um, so i decided to check it out myself and um, i'm going to try to install everything and uh, including adding a um, i'm not sure what it's supposed to call the inline amplifier that can actually um, uh, amplify the um the halo 9 to um to um about 48 watts per channel okay and um, so this is what the uh, OEM equipment looks like before the installation and this is the harness that I need to deal with and uh, one more thing that I need to deal with is um, the reverse camera uh, for this van the picture will show up right here and um, I need to reroute that um, to the Halo 9 and also um, the power antenna inside of this box which can be removed right here and need to be rewired through all the way down from the um, headliners down the A-pillar and I'll reroute it down here so you will, uh, it will provide the, um, the power antenna oh, am antenna and its amplifiers to the Halo 9 but the, the important part is the, um, um, is the reverse camera 
you know, which I have harnessed from um, um, Miss City Engineering for both the um, for both of the um, the uh, reverse camera and the uh, antenna. Okay. Okay. So this is what I need for the uh, installation. So this is the head unit, which is unpacked right here. Big old bundles of the wires. And you can make, make this uh, sprinter chassis. And uh, if you buy this from Crutchfield, just come with it for free. And uh, I don't know if you can see the quality. Um, the quality is very um, not the best. And they're supposed to be shiny material, but um, they already have scratches on them. And um, the fit, it's okay but not really that great and to the very least they should put a protective film on it so um, they won't get scratched when it's brand new if you ask me and um, this is the um, amplifier it's the KTP445A A4 Alpine so this is a harness it's a plug and play harness this go between it's from here to here and then to the um, and then um, to the, this harness that fit onto the uh, factory harness and uh, so this is the part number for this uh, harness adapter and uh, if you notice if you can see it it mentioned nothing that it will fit a sprinter and uh, luckily there was one youtube video saying that this will fit and i tested it and it does fit okay and uh, this is the bypass for the uh, handbrake if you choose to do that, I did it just so I don't need to find the um, handbrake wire. And then a couple of um, um, at a fuse or at a circuit, medium size, um, for the power supply. Okay, I'll show you how the uh, connection is going to be. And the head unit with the monitor is uh, attached to the chassis. And then this is where the main harness harness will come out going to the um, the uh, power amplifier. And uh, this is that to here. And then it connect connect to the um, harness with the uh, adapter that will uh, go into the um, uh, the sprinter's um, harness. And um, besides, so that is for the all four channels um, um, of speakers. And, uh, and then ground wire and constant power, um, mission power. And then this will power the uh, antenna. And uh, so that's all the, uh, how the main harness goes. And a little bit here. This is where the, um, where the reverse view, um, rear view camera come from, signal come from. And we we'll walk along with this. This is the uh, reverse trigger wire, and um, which will connect it to, um, um, to the reverse camera. And um, also the microphone. And then finally the um, antenna signal. Okay. Whole set up right there. Now it's time to um, take the factory radio out. So first, you need to disconnect the battery, and the battery compartment is right here under the foot well. And this piece I already loosened. So you take this out, and you can let me see. Well, you can't really see it that well, but that's the battery connector push the pin and pull and it should disconnect it so, so that's the connector and that's the pin and I'll uh, just keep it away and now we've got no more power so now I pull the uh, radio out of its positions and again you can see the back and you Pinch this and pull this part out. And with this, you have to lift this. Oh. 
pinch and lift this. This whole harness come up. This is disconnected. Now the uh, unit's been uh, dry fitted to the um, positions and uh, I adjust it ups and downs and now it seems to be uh, good positions. And um, I can still have room to uh, adjust the tilt as well if I want to. And uh, so this is going to be the uh, up to market bracket still looks pretty ugly, but not too bad, I guess. So this is how it looks like when the uh, screen is removed. And um, this whole connector piece can slide out and in, in positions and um, I, would, I like my uh, screen to be a little bit closer to the um, uh, this panel over here so I choose to use the, um, the in position but you can adjust it to let it stick out more if you want so this is the uh, SOS wire and used to connect to this and um, I cut them and, um, and um, connect the uh, corresponding collar together sort of sealed it and uh, that should take care of the um, um, the microphone for the SOS system and I will be still using the uh, factory microphone for the um, SOS now I uh, bundle them up and um, now that I turn on the call the SOS warning line shouldn't be on anymore yep SOS lights no more so here's the um, constant 12 volt power and the emission power is going to run and I found this to our uh, fuse location that is um, the way I want it to be um, connected to the battery and uh, turn on when the ignition keys on and um, I thrust through a wire underneath the seat then to come out on this little gaps that um, the seat base is built there's a thickened up gap over there and I'm gonna put more insulation tape so it won't rub against it and then just run this along probably underneath here runs it along and comes up and up to that area so that's the plan and the uh, mid city engineering including a harness for wiring this power but I um, heard that that harness is not long enough. It's designed for the fuse box being over here instead of under the seat base. So I decided to um, um, wire with um, my own wires. Okay. So here's with the uh, four panels back on and um, the lead wires. This is right there going through. So underneath all those, there's a really nice gap over there that you can bring it through and now we just have to snag it through the, uh, the console and be done with it so here I finally connected everything um, just for a test run and um, I tuck the factory harness all the way in there and connect it to the um, uh, Metra 709003 adapters which um, connected to the um, Alpine connector, which in turn goes into um, an, um, the amplifier, and then the other end of the amplifier comes up and goes up to the back of the Alpine. And this is the and this is the antenna wire. Go all the way in into the dash. It goes up to the uh, eight pillar, and all the way across and connected to. Um, to the uh, antenna on top. Same thing as the rear view mirror and um, that cable comes all the way across here going down and uh, come across inside the dash and come back out as this cable and one side of it connected to the rear view camera on the back of the um, Alpine and then um, the other wire that you see connected to the uh, reverse trigger and um, that's it, moment of truth. And I'm gonna start up the car and I'll already be connected the uh, battery. And we'll see. And it 
turn up. Yay! Music's on. And um and I do hear music coming out from the center speaker. So um everything are everything it's going through the four channels. And the song is coming out from the back as well. Very good. And um if I were to put into reverse now, as you see, nothing happens. Alright? The rear view camera doesn't come off, even though it's on reverse. So I put it back to park. And uh, apparently, and um, if you select this, it tells you no camera is selected. So what you need to do is go to setting, go to camera, camera select, and select rear. Then the rear camera and say OK. And now, Reverse. And there, the rear view camera turns on. And uh, I can adjust the, um, the kite later, but um, everything seems to work. And, uh, and uh, this is already radio, so um, so apparently the antenna work as well. So um, since the wirings all work, and all I have to do is put everything back together. See you in a little bit. So let me show you how to, when you open the door. You hear that ding sound? It retains it even the um, the uh, factory radio is out. Okay. And um, as long as you connect the four channels, and um, the front speaker, center speaker will work, and all the speakers um, on the driver side, passenger side, and. There's eight speakers in the back of the uh, passenger van. They all can do um, connect and work. Okay. okay. Final adjustment. The um, the yellow wire, actually the red wire for the um, accessory power, um, was hooked up to uh, that position before, and um, but that only get turned on when the engine is on. So I moved that to over here. So when the um, car is on, it will turn on. Um, before the engine get turned on. So if you get into the car um, without uh, pressing the brake pedal and uh, uh, to turn on to turn on the key, it will turn on the Alpine without turning on the um, um, engine. So this is how it works. So if I press that once without putting the brake pedal and the Alpine's on already. So there it is, final installation, um, everything is back together. And, um, and um, the whole thing, the cheapest looking car, still the um, adapter, um, there's plenty of uh, cheap plastic exposed, but um, I suppose I can move the um, move the uh, screen further down to hide the whole thing but I just kind of do like the way I hide my um, Apple CarPlay um, lightning clip, uh, cables in there and um, I probably can put my phone in there as well so I'm going to um, do it like this for now and uh, see if it uh, works out for me there it is